What's up guys, this is the Rider from the Lion back bringing you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as France. So to round off our last time, we secured Kiev from Russian troops and we also knocked out this Spanish army, well, mostly knocked out this Spanish army that was holding here in Cuba and now we have finished it off. And the idea with this army is to advance and lay siege to the capital and begin to start knocking out um, French colonial possession, not French, we're the French, start knocking out Spanish colonial possessions. So starting off with Cuba and Santo Domingo and then go and take Caracas and we also have forces pushing west from uh, our normal forces. I might actually just take them to go knock out this raiding army because they will be a right pain. It's them taken care of. Let's get them back to New Orleans. And, and let's get them replenished. They are replenishing good. Um, tobacco or sugar? Tobacco, by a long shot. Oh, co no, not tobacco. Coffee. It's still, co it's still coffee. Cool. Let's upgrade this farm. You are laying siege to this Spanish territory. Then up here in Europe, we are also laying siege to Gibraltar. Which I might actually... Hmm, which means if I attack and we're drawing the Spanish garrison, I'm tempted to wait and see what happens. Uh, this army is holding to see if I can draw any of the Spanish armies towards them. And this guy's going to wait here and see if he can entice any of these... This Spanish army, or there's a couple more hiding around here, to move up. And then we have this guy down here, who is going to move up and lay siege to Milan. Mm, maintain siege. And this army, once they've taken Milan, they'll go down and hit um, Genoa in the future. We've also got armies here waiting for the word that the um, Austrian dogs have decided to attack us. And we're going to move these guys back to Cologne. Because now Cologne's got a reasonable garrison. Which might actually reinforce. Hanover's got a reasonable garrison. Berlin's got a pretty good garrison. And we're also driving up against... Oh, I think you the wrong campaign now. Yep, this one here. We're still replenishing and recovering from our attacks. You can't finish them off yet. Um, you're going to stay by Kiev. Then they're going to drive westward, and eventually we're going to start forming a great big... We're going to have the, the Austrians surrounded, and I think... Yeah, they're hostile. They're looking for an excuse to attack us, and only if the Ottomans decide to attack us and we call them in, do we give them an opportunity. Um, but they're not going to, I think, because the Ottomans, yeah, they're suffering from bankruptcy. Baghdad's exempt from tax. Then in India, things are still just carrying on the way they've carried on. And this guy is going to move up and get ready to hit Dagestan, but only in when we hit Dagestan in the European theatre. You're still laying siege to Lahore. Then in the main central part where all the Mughal stacks are, we're kind of just in a bit of a holding pattern. Now let's see actually how the... See, they're still growing. Sitara's still got a good amount of money. You're still growing. This region is going to surrender to us eventually, and I don't see how they are. I don't know, you'd think they'd be running out of money by now. But I digress. So in terms of tax, just pretty much just let them carry on, because well, these are all broken by the looks of it. These all don't look right. None of these look right. Mighty strange, but I've already researched them, so I don't mind. I think I'm going to hit end turn and see what the AI does in response. Yeah, there's a second Spanish army. There's going to be three full stacks to the north of Spain. They're going to move south and potentially attack us from the rear of Gibraltar. So may want to attack Gibraltar sooner rather than later. Oh no, they're sallying out. It's going to be a quick one, I think. 
and we're progressing forward quite well in our campaign objectives and i'm going to actually post this battle i'm going to have a look at what these um campaign objectives actually are because i know we've got a couple of territories well they're mostly spanish territories you have to take so even though we're storming onwards and you know we're on, we're on path to capture the world we've got that going on in my american campaign and this is a really ugly battlefield so pressure troops can't well, they can run up there well let's put my guns well they have many guns actually just set these guys up limbo with grape set my rockets up Put my Swiss line and marines down into the valley. Let's set these chaps. Oh, I do have horse guards artillery. I mean this is this is extreme. Very extreme. Let's take a bunch of line and some marines. Set them up here, ready to advance down. Maybe I'll run them, maybe I'll walk them along. Nice long flanking maneuver. Or they can just stay there, to be honest. Let's move this line infantry down here, it's a bit of a reserve. General in the centre, and then let's just watch the fireworks. Because even though these guys aren't firing special rounds, To be honest, if these guys, if I can make these guys fire just from round shot, then I'll let them use round shot. I want to see these rockets fire. If they'll fire. Oh yeah, they they were they stood too close. There go the rockets. Not bad. Let's put these guys here just to block off any sneaky cavalry maneuvers that might happen. These guys are in range to fire quick climb, so let's change their shot. Same as Mortar now, they can hit the cavalry. I'm effectively just letting them get shot to pieces at range. Quick climb against that unit of cavalry. Good hits. Very good hits against the garrison militia. Rocket fire coming in against the cavalry. Ooh, okay, hold on. Don't get any wild ideas. You guys all just hit the um, just hit a regiment out in the distance. Doesn't matter which one. Danger close rocket fire. Big, and then they've been fired up with line infantry. Quick climb is still going off. It's a very long shot. Really close. fire round shot if I make them happy then let's just speed up time because oh they do have some reinforcements coming in 
In which case then let's take my main unit of line. Or my elite line infantry anyway. And push him up. Through these rockets, gonna well, I can't really target them. These chaps are firing round shot. More rocket fire inbound. This. Form square. Poor arm citizenry are going to get shredded by musket fire. Ooh, artillery coming in. I can see the shots. Poor chaps. Fill in the gaps. Oh no, they're gone. Those rocket artillery. So let's get my artillery to start. Even though they're out of range for now, start heading the reinforcements. Hit them, hit them hard. You guys advance up, you guys go straight into that unit of armed citizenry. You guys go into them too. As soon as we make them route, as soon as we can set up our <clears throat> set up our line, start to pound these guys. I suspect these guys are looking at trying to flank around the top. In which case then the remainder of my troops just start walking. Yeah, we will lose some gallant French marines if they hold this in defence. Yeah, that's a lot of dead. A lot of dead to fire like I'm citizenry. Let's go some weight here. It's a bit of a hedge in case they come back. Still firing. Another is that another barrage of rockets? There we go. Devastating. Yep, see some of them are returning. So we can engage them with musket fire. And these guys will, in due course, open fire. Or they're just going to rout. Give them a few volleys to knock, just to uh, wear them down a bit. Regulars are routing. These guys are within range of the, these arms history conscripts. Conscripts.
on the scripts. Let's get my howitzer to work again. These guys can start to pick at the infantry at range. Poor old conscripts. And that's a perfect shot for the for the howitzers to do some real damage to the conscripts. Yep, there we go. Advance up, take their flank. Advance up even more aggressively. Sick of the conscripts, they're not even in position. So, all my artillery. Ooh, well, these are regiments. Royal Irish Regiment. Here come the rockets. Oh, how to shell inbound. There it is. Two how to shells. Fell short. Fell short. There's one up here. need to fall back. Yeah, but these poor chaps aren't going to have a chance because they're being engaged and they're not even in formation. Being pounded with artillery, being shot to bits by elite infantry. The rockets are inbound, but that's the end of the battle. I'm about to or I'm going to die. Either expression is correct. Cool. Very nice exchange ratio. So they've fall, fallen back. We can capture Gibraltar and then begin to fortify it because we're either going to have a garrison from Spain or all the, the Mor Morocco garrison is going to come and attack us. Ooh, please all fall, fall back westwards, Russia. I don't know, you guys might be okay. No, don't run around. That's just frustrating. I'm going to absolutely just nick that as a quick oh, auto. Dead. They're going to fall back. And the garrison is like Don Voisco is going to fall back too. Ideal. So we can take Don Voisco and we can then send all that army along to take Dagestan. Then we can attack the Dagestan. Oh no! thought they were going to hit Moscow because I have no garret whoops that's my my phone <laughs> um, I'm not going to well I'm going to recruit yeah but I am going to recruit a garrison in Moscow oh, the Mughals are with, sallying out and in, in Ahmadnagar Ahmad a, a lady who was in an uber and did not want to pay for it and the driver was very 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 calm <laughs> um but yes, we've got a couple of sallies out during this part, which should be pretty good. Nice, efficient ways of killing troops. Nothing except a battle half as lost can be half as melancholy as a battle won. Meh. In this, uh, in this game, it's not real. Okay, so let's make a miss. Okay, so let's make two two batteries in the centre. Take a block of infantry you on one flank. Deploy these guys on this flank. I can't. Let's deploy you guys. Then deploy you guys. Fly my howitzers. Keep my general in the centre. Cavalry is going to be in a block on the left because I want to use them to push around, and I'm not bothered about not deploying this artillery. So you just stay out of the way.
So we've got a little defilade here behind this hillock. And if that quickline reaches my lines, I'm going to fall back. Fall back? No, I've changed my mind. Push up. We'll teach those swine. Mission of Crassiers, smash straight into the armed populace and then keep my native Indian cavalry on the move. Capture the top of the hill. that my crossiers back Coming in. General's dead, because the general was this was this general the gun team? Quick climbs going in. Hit them garrison must come in here. Um, Crossy has to hit the musket men. Perfect. You guys spin around and hit that armed populace. You guys ch charge into the battlefield. You guys hit the garrison muskiman actually. This battle should be fairly quick. Send them in. Bring in my general. To be honest, these guys may as well stay where they are. Turn off. Fire well. Hmm, do these garrison musketmen come back? So my cavalry after this unit of garrison musketmen instead. Good. This looks like it could be the destruction of a unit. Come on, it's just this one guy left. Got him. You guys get on for the second duck hill. You couldn't resist it, so you guys get in there and give him a hand. Let's 
cavalry's going to have lost some troops, maybe unnecessarily, but... Okay, you garrison this building, you sepoys take up this position. No light infantry run over here. Because these troops are about to be mightily uncomfortable. As my native Lancer cavalry kicks in. back. Cavalry can chase him down. Reorienting my cavalry. My cuirassiers anyway. Go on, Nancy boys, show, show your native cousins who the superior troops are. Good. Time for the French Heavy Cavalry. He shouldn't get a volley off. They are confident for now, but one of the good thing is about Curassiers is they just chop away when they're in the fight. Absolutely love it. I think I might speed up time a little bit, because yeah, these guys are the only guys left on the field. Yes, you should be shaking. A bunch of angry cavalrymen are cutting all your friends apart in front of you. I mean. Ended there. Nice, two nice little victory, which is not bad at all, I think. Bear in mind, this isn't a world domination; it's a a long campaign. So my objectives aren't to conquer everywhere; it's to capture certain territories. And to be honest, we've done really well right now. Our position is super strong. We've not got any. Any real weaknesses? Rioting has broken out in this region as the lower orders have become. Okay, so let's get some colonial light to try to cheer everyone up. Good on these guys to ride north. And I'm probably going to want these guys will take out the position ready to hit Dagestan. These guys will immediately turn towards Akbarabad because I've got a distinct feeling they're probably going to raid. They're probably going to rebel. because they don't like us, so we probably did advance a bit too quickly. Put a church school to start converting, although it's probably going to... They're probably going to rebel next turn, and they're probably going to take it, because we don't have much of a garrison, but we will then just siege them out with a proper army. Oh, that's got roads. Lots of good stuff. Their own... See, my policies are pretty bad, particularly in India. Well, yeah, it's because I'm taxing the crap out of them. Good 
good. Do some upgrading. Then we've got. Let's see, the Marathas did not invest in their infrastructure at all. See, the in Indian territories can be some of the richest in the game. Lots of gems, lots of goods that are in demand. Yeah, yeah, I know, you're rioting. But let's do that and let's get some. Can I have a limit? Oh, okay, I'll get some Indian mercenaries then. Just drill them up. Lots of recruitment. Oh, I start did start recruiting a new army. But is it, is it enough to protect Moscow? Okay, so let's get... Okay, maybe not some fusiliers then. Let's just get... Go get whatever the unit recruitment thing lets me to take. Lots of good traits gained. Lovely stuff. No, I see that. We'll draw in the reinforcements from from Morocco. So I think I do just want to wait. Okay, so what are our objectives? That we have left to take. Liguria, which is... Genoa, Corsica, which is Genoa, which is Genoa, really, so, sorry Genoa, we're going to have to turn on you, which will be quite interesting, because it will start to, it will re-engage their forces from across the lands, so let's take you, or you hit, capture Don Vosco then, fix the town, Start building walls and then start recruiting. Because yep, there's the raiding forces. To be honest, it's worth asking if Russia will then just. Russia's suffered. Maybe Russia's suffered enough. Quest peace. Peace treaty with Russia signed. They hate us, but we are now at peace. So now, an unsteady, an uncomfortable silence hangs over Europe, because now nobody knows what what their targets are. So you're going to go probably to here. Kiev staying garrisoned. You and you can, though, however, go to Crimea, and these guys can begin a can begin or soon to begin an amphibious invasion of Corsica. Because soon, once we've captured Milan, we can then raid Corsica, one final battle against a high tier settlement, and then that will be the end of the French campaign. Because there's not really much need to to carry it on, I think, because we'll have. It's not a world domination, that's what I'm playing my US campaign for. I'll keep the save if I do fancy carrying it on as a world domination, but to be honest, I think I then might consider it, you know, done. But yeah, for now, well, actually what I'm going to do is kick, get ready to kick the next turn off with this. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for this Siege of Milan. Radio. Cheers, guys.